Aircraft Company's new million dollar assembly plant at Niagara Falls is one of the first to use a conveyor system inaugurated by the American automobile industry. Six of these ingenious belts, which move along at the rate of an inch every three minutes, will be in operation soon. They will step up production of speedy Aracobras for the Army Air Corps. And here's the first Aracobra to roll off the new assembly line. All ready to fly, and how. First gunnery practice by a squadron of the latest and swiftest of fighting planes. They're heavily armed with machine guns and also with cannon. So load the aerial heavy artillery for practice at Camp Skeel at Oscoda, Michigan. And the planes are Aero Cobras. They go fast and they've got terrific firepower. Army flyers have their first test of marksmanship in this kind of super speedy fighter. There's the muzzle of the cannon in the nose of the plane. How will the aim be going so fast? They dart in the tactics of acrobatic air battle. And now comes the test of sharpshooting at tremendous speed, swooping down at the target on the ground. a bullet, they shoot the bullets. American-made P-39 and P-63 fighter planes for the Russian Air Force lined up at Ladd Field, Fairbanks, Alaska, on their 2,000-mile route from United States factories to Siberia. American and Russian mechanics checked the planes before the 500-mile hop across the Bering Sea. Russian flyers now take over. They are briefed before setting out. Ready for the takeoff, more than 5,000 Lend-Lease aircraft have flown this Allied route to Russia. Planes and more planes head for Russia's eastern front via Alaska and Siberia. Mm -hmm. 